Hello people, this is Afnan Khan, research scholar at Elm Education and welcome to another episode of Economy Explained where I break down the complicated economy for you so that you are aware of the economy you are part of. Economists from Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, two of the world's greatest investment banking company, declared that coronavirus has triggered a global recession. This is some big news, something to be worried about of course, but at the same time, which makes is something which makes you scratch your head. How an outbreak like coronavirus affects the economy in any way? Let's find out. Recession by definition is a fall in the GDP for two consecutive quarters. But not everything in the economics is completely based on laws and regulations. Because there are humans involved here. And so is psychology. So there are a lot of things that are to be considered before we declare that the economy is in recession. One of such major things primarily is people spending. Rather, people spending is both cause and effect of recession. There is this cycle which connects the cause with the effect. When people stop spending money, it means there is less purchase which means less demand. Less demand implies less manufacturing. Less manufacturing requires low labor. Low labor requirement with decreasing turnover forces company to lay off their existing employees. No job is again a reason for low public spending. The reason public stops spending is the reason for recession. Usually people stop spending when they lose trust in the sustainability of the market. An oil collapse recently shook the trust of the investors. This collapse can be considered as the inception of recession. What actually happened in the oil market that caused an earthquake in the stock market recently? Coronavirus reduced oil demand substantially and whenever there is a reduction in demand, the supply is reduced to maintain oil prices. Basic economics, when there is low demand and high supply, prices tend to fall. To avoid this scenario, the production is slowed down so that the demand is at par with supply. But Russia refused to cut the oil production, which would mean that Russia would have a larger supply of oil and would be capable of reaching a larger market. Saudi Arabia retaliated this with excessive production and offered a discounted selling price to around $30 per barrel, which is generally traded at $65 per barrel. Well, this is some bad news for the US. Although Saudi Arabia can easily sustain with such lower prices, it is difficult for the US to sustain at this price. The US method of extracting oil is quite different and expensive than Saudi Arabia. US requires an oil price of about $50 per barrel for it to break even. A price fall of such an extent indicates a huge number of US oil companies will go bust. This was the cause of panic among people regarding the sustainability of the market which caused the recent market crash. It is during this phase that banks reduce the interest rate to make it cheaper for the people to take money from the banks which might encourage them to borrow and further spend on the economy. So did the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve reduced the interest rate to zero to support the economy during the coronavirus pandemic. But the fear of the people this time is not regarding sustainability of the market, but rather regarding something more severe, their own health. Coronavirus has caused reduction in public spending which have already affected businesses like airline, restaurant, travel, tourism and transportation. People are unwilling to come out of their house, fearing they might become victim of the virus. The reason for decreased spending is very intense, but will the impact be as severe? Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro Pacific Capital, writes a tweet claiming that this recession will be worse than the 2008 recession since there is far more debt now. And yes, indeed the corporate debt up to GDP ratio reached all-time high last year for the US and India as well leads its Asian peers in risky corporate debts. So what is the economics here and how does high corporate debt make the recession severe? High debt in the economy often leads to financial distress. Financial distress is a condition in which a company or individual cannot generate revenue or income because it is unable to meet or cannot pay its financial obligations. To put in simple words, it means that the company has so much of interest payments to be made and now that it has fewer earnings because of recession, most of its earnings go towards making these payments, leaving it with none to reinvest. Often a prolonged financial distress lead to bankruptcy. The situation looks pretty severe and the economy seems helpless as long as there is fear and panic prevail. That also means that the downward effect can stop as soon as the virus is gone. That leaves us, as participants of this economy, to hope and pray that the health of the people and the economy revive as soon as possible. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more amazing explanation to the complicated economy. Stay home and stay safe.